What is going on, my super sandwiches? Rhyme style here, and today we're bringing some more Pokemon card openings. And today we're gonna jump into some black and white Plasma Storm uh, packs, which I got a handful of from Toronto.com, which is where I buy all my cards from. No, this is not sponsored. This is just where I buy all my cards from. So before I start, I want to mention a couple things. Number one, I got some next Destiny packs openings as well happening at some point over the next couple days as well. And also we're gonna jump into the future into 2018 and do some uh, Ultra Prism packs, which I have not done yet. But what I'm gonna do with this one is, is I have two sets. Uh, this is gonna be part one, which we'll go ahead and jump into the Inferno pack first. And uh, what I want from you guys is two things. Number one, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you slap a like on it. In case you forget, feel free to do it right now. And two, let me know what other packs to open in the near future from like the older sets. Uh, even if you want to see newer stuff as well. And I'll do my best to try to get my hands on uh, these packs over the course of the future and do more fun content on the channel. So without further ado, we are hunting for uh, the Blastoise and obviously the Charizard, which actually I have the Charizard as a PSA 10 already, but I would love to pull that Blastoise because my girlfriend loves that Blastoise. So without further ado, Let's go ahead and jump in. I'm not going to do any card tricks. The other cool thing is I have the full list next to me. The other cool thing that we have in this set, we have a really beautiful looking full art Articuno, as well as Lugia. As you guys know, he's like my favorite bird. So those are also targets to acquire. On top of that, the, the Victini as well. So let's go ahead and see what kind of we got, what kind of stuff we got. I believe the card trick should be three, but I'm not going to do a card trick just because in case we do have something in the back, I don't want to actually potentially ruin it. So we'll just kind of jump in basic and see how it goes. That is a really cool looking Squirtle. Now I believe both the Blastoise and Charizard are actually secret rares in the set. So uh, again, both of those are going to be the big hits to go for in um, in these packs. So let's see what we got. Joltik, the rare should be coming up here in a second. First rare of the pack is a Conkeldor. <laughs> Every time I see these, I think my Conkeldor's about Fur Day, which is like a big game from the Nintendo 64 era. All right, so first pack is kind of all right. It's just whatever. We got a Warthog as a uh, a Watchog, not Warthog, a Watchog, and a Swedloon, and then a Soul Rock. wait, and more. And there's also the code card to finish it off, so that's what, that's the setup for the pack. Um, yeah, I was thinking about Conquest about Fur Day every time I see Conquest Door. I was thinking just because of the beginning of the name. Speaking of which, I would not be opposed if they ever decide to uh, re-release that game and remake it. I know they did before in, in the Xbox era, but still, like, that game was so much fun. Uh, and just as like, a little random bonus question out there, especially if you're my age, let me know in the comment section below what game you would personally love to remake if you had the power to do so. All right. Now, the last couple times I bought cards from Troll and Toy, they always came back like luck of the draw. I mean, I think the first here's actually the code card as well. There you go. Uh, <laughs> I pulled two gold stars back to back. So like, let's see if I can walk away with a secret rare Charizard, specifically the Charizard, because I wouldn't mind pulling that just because of the hype factor alone. But also the Blastos as well inside this opening. So let's see what we got. Clefairy, Lotad. Purloin, Vanillite, I think the secret, oh, the, yep, the reverse one is right there, that's actually, oh, it's not a secret rare. And a wheezing holographic, okay, so right off the bat, first pack was a dud, but it's fine, we followed through and we got a holographic out of the second one, so that, that's cool, I'll, I'll, I'll gladly take that, let's put that to the side over here, so I can get that sleeved up after I'm done recording, and then we got a Kevin Durant, a Lun it's funny, actually, I got a Soul Rock in the first pack, and then I got the Lunatone in the second one. Also funny because I think they just switched Lunatone and Soul Rock and Pokemon Go, and I can finally actually try to catch one of these because you were actually weren't able to get those in the game yet. All right, here we go. So first pack, meh. Second pack, it's a hollow. I'll take it. Next one, we got your boy Infernape on the cover. If you guys want to see more Plasma Storm also pack openings, let me know as well because these packs are really not that expensive to get your hands on. So um, I'm gonna try to do more just because it's always fun to charge our hunt number one and two. If you actually pull uh, pull through and find something rare, especially one that you're hunting, it's just that much that much more exciting. All right, we got Combi, we got Joltik, another Clefairy, Vanillite. The reverse is coming up right here with a Sharpedo. It's actually a rare, right? It is a rare. And then a Lucario holographic. All right, so two hollows back to back. I will take that. Followed by uh, Team Plasma Grunt, Donphan, and a Magneton. And also, of course, there's a code card as well. If you do end up getting these core cards, let me know what you guys pull, and hopefully one of you guys gets lucky and gets a Charizard. I know it's probably not as exciting as pulling, you know, a real-life Charizard, but hey, I mean, still, if you get a Charizard in the digital version of the game, then definitely let me know in the comment section below. And before everybody comments that they pulled Charizard, it's like, I know not all you guys got these codes. This is only like first come, first serve. All right, Articuno. It's my favorite of the three original birds. So let's see if he's going to be my lucky charm here and, and follow through with something cool for me. Pull the packs out real smoothly. There you go. Here's a code card if you guys want to get that uh, right now. There you go. Good luck with that. Again, whatever you pull inside that, let me know. Riolu, Combi. Combi is such a stupid Pokemon. 
What's the dumbest Pokemon design that I've ever had? Let me know in the comment section below. Kobe is my uh, second option next to probably... No, no, no. He's third. First one by far is Vanillite, followed by, uh, uh, what's the key one? Clef Key, and then probably Combi. Like, <laughs> you can tell they kind of got bored with some of the designs uh, as they're trying to figure out what else they can do in the Pokemon world. But speaking of Vanillite, we got Vanillax, which is uh, a reverse rare. Togekiss, that's nice. Another Hollow, back to back. Look at that. This is this is starting to like turn into a pretty decent opening so far. Let's put that over here. We got a Plasma Energy and a Golbat, and finally a uh, Evio... Eviolite, Eviolite. That's actually I kind of a mouthful to say, but yeah. Back to what I said. You can definitely tell that as they were coming up with the Pokemon designs, they probably like started running out of ideas and they figured, hey, let's just let's just look around the room and the first thing you see will turn out to Pokemon. I feel like that's that's like an inside joke within the developers and the designers of the game. Like, what what's the most ridiculous Pokemon design I can actually have? All right, here we go. Halfway through the packs, we got Riolu again, Chimchar, Magnemite, Fampy. Turtwig, the reverse is, speaking of Vanillite, and then Cigarare, and another Weezing, you know what, I'll take it. Dude, have we had nothing but hollows back to back so far, except for the first pack? All right, this is, it's not a Cigarare, it's not a full art, but it's still pretty lucky, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll take that, I'll gladly accept that. Put that into the, the cool card pile, then we got Coldverse Machine, Magneton, Loudjet, and then the code right here for you guys, uh, again, good luck with the pack. Now, I know with these hollows, they're not really that valuable. At least I think. Uh, if it's this Charizard, obviously it's, it's valuable. But for the most part, a lot of these cards really aren't that valuable. But again, it's not really an expensive set to go for. So I don't really mind if I end up getting all duds in here. And again, I have to get lucky with the last two sets where I pulled a Gold Star Mewtwo in one pack. And then in the second video, a Gold Star Mew, I'm happy. <laughs> you can, there's nothing else that can happen that will make me that much more happier than what already occurred in these openings. All right, here we go. Next uh, set, make sure I don't actually bend anything because I kind of got the corner caught there on the last card, which doesn't really matter because the last card is just uh, a code card anyways. Let's see what we got in this one. All right, we got Clink, also a stupid design, like it's just a gear. Uh, we got Zubat, Squirtle, Purloin. I think it's time that we get a, uh, a full art or something. A Dodrio, but it's just a regular non hollow. I feel like because I said something, I, I kind of ruined the streak there. Uh, Colorist Machine. A Grodel and a Golbat. All right. Yeah, it's because I said something. If I, ha if I hadn't said anything, I feel like it would have been a, a streak that kept going on of just hollow pulls. All right, let's put this actually over here because I kind of like Turwig. Okay, let's go into the Lugia pack. Lugia, are you about to give me exactly what I need? Are you about to give me a full art Lugia? Because I actually wouldn't mind getting that either because, I mean, I, I do want to collect as many Lugias as possible as well. Um, and specifically, the one I've been hunting for and trying to get the most, which I, never pops up is a Sky, not Sky Ridge, um, uh, Aquapolis. I really want an Aquapolis uh, Crystal Lugia. I have one right now as a PSA 8, but anything above a, above a 9 will make me like a really, really happy fan of Lugia. All right, Riolu, Joltik, Pansier, Clink, Trubbish. Is it cool? Cra cr uh, Scrafty, ah, <laughs> that's fine. Uh, Hypnotoxic Laser, that's a mouthful. Another Lucario, but not a holographic version. Actually, what's funny is, was that a Mega Lucario actually that I pulled? I think it might have been. Let me, let me just double check. No, it's a regular Lucario. Why is, there, why is there two in this set? That's so weird. Huh. Okay. I mean, I know usually they have done multiple of the same Pokemon in sets before. So it's not like a, uh, like a brand new thing. But still, it was kind of surprising seeing that. I feel like that could have done something else. It's like it's like they needed a specific amount of cards for that set. And they're like, you know what? Let's just redraw Lucario. Everybody loves Lucario. I mean, Lucario is pretty cool, so I, I, I don't mind. All right, we have three packs left, and this is uh, one of three. Let's see if we can go on a bang here. Let's see. At least let me get let me get a full art in this one. At least let me get a full art in one of these three. Let me make sure I don't actually bend the card because once again it's caught in the corner over here. Over here, there you go. Okay, let's see what we got. Uh, also, let me ask you guys a question: From all the black and white sets, which one did you guys love the most? Because I can try to get my hands on more of those as well. Because again, they're not that expensive to get. They're kind of known to find, but again, Troll Toad has everything when it comes down to like these packs uh, within that era. Now, if we're talking about before that era, it gets kind of hard and rare, but black and white, I feel like it's really easy to find. Skarmory! Great! Yay! <laughs> uh, Amungus, uh, Verbank City Gym, and Togetic. Togetic. 
The joke is, uh, we're playing Pokemon Go, and uh, someone mispronounced uh, Togetic, uh, Togetic, and I kept saying Togetic for the longest, and I told myself, I'm gonna say Togetic so much, that I'm gonna accidentally mispronounce it in the video. I know it's Togetic, Togetic, but still, Togetic is just uh, an inside joke that mostly me, me and my girlfriend have when we play Pokemon Go with our, uh, our friends in this area. All right, two packs left. Two packs left, come on. Let's go on a bang here. We got Infernape, and then we got Purloin. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got on these finale. Let's go out and bang here. Come on, Poke Gods. Arceus, what you got for me? Give me some of that luck. I don't want any rubbish. I want, I want the good stuff. Rufflet, Combi, Zubat, Clink. The reverse is Swine Up. What's this? Is it cool? Is it cool? Oh, it's a full art! Uh, uh, not full art. It's an EX. White Kirim. I'll take that. All right. Now, now we're getting to the good stuff. Now we're getting to the good stuff. I will gladly accept that. All right. Finally. Finally, something that's not like a basic holographic card. Now, I know White Kyrim isn't exactly that valuable, but again, it's better than just getting the basic holo or even a regular non holo rare, rare. So I'll take it. I'll definitely take that. Put that into the cool pile. All right. Uh, and then we got a Mongoose, Donphin, Escape Rope, and then one code for you guys. So good luck with that. Okay. That was not at the last pack. This is the last pack. Let's see what Purloin has in store for us in the grand finale over here. Will there be a secret rare in this one? Will there be a secret rare in the next one? Because like I said, I got 10 more packs right next to me over here for the next video, which I'll probably try to do in a couple days so I can kind of spread it out evenly because I don't upload as much content on here as I do on my main channel because I don't get that many cards. Usually when I buy uh, stacks of cards or packs, I'll kind of like record it and then spread it out over the course of days. So you kind of have like a steady stream of content as opposed to like a burst and then no uploads for weeks, which I don't want to do. Riolu, Lotad, Purloin. Did I say Perlo in that pack? I meant the evolution. I actually forgot what the evolution's name was. Same thing. It's just uh, the, the young version of Perloin. Chimchar, Magnemite, Verbank City Gym. Torterra is what we're going to finish it off with. Hypnotoxic Laser, Bicycle, oh, another Lucario, and then a code for you guys. All right, so that, that set wasn't as cool. I got to say, it, it wasn't as hype as it could have been. But again, I want to remind you guys that I have 10 more packs next to me over here. And uh, we're going to test our luck with that one here in a second, uh, which I'm going to open it right now, but you'll probably see that video in a couple days. But again, if you want to see more pack openings on the channel, all you got to do is let me know, like I said, by leaving a like, because that lets me know that you guys enjoy the content, and two, which packs to get. And again, the newer they are, the easier they are to obtain. Everything before black and white is a bit hard to get. Uh, so if you guys want to see more black and white stuff, like Next Destinies and Plasma Storm, I got you. If not, uh, let me know which vintage sets to go for, and I'll try my best to get my hands on them over the course of the future. But other than that, I hope you enjoy the rest of the day. My name is Ryan Style. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.